Hello everyone, my name is Avkash and in this video I decided to give you some of the information related to diffusion models. The reason why you should care about diffusion models because the very prominent text to image AI models such as DALI 2 and the Google Imagine as well as the OpenAI Glide, all these three very popular AI models are based on diffusion models. It means it is important for you to really understand the architecture, the theory, as well as the various code implementation specific to diffusion models. And in this video, I did not focus on the math or the algorithmic part of diffusion models, but I gave you some of the important information so you know why diffusion models are important for you and I looked through various diffusion model implementations in TensorFlow, PyTorch, JAX as well as the PyTorch Lightning and I decided to use two of those implementations to learn the process of diffusion, how it works and with the machine learning so how the diffusion model really work to add noise to your source data as well as the denoise the source data to generate the original source information and all using through machine learning models and, and i have also used a pre-built diffusion model which was trained on cifar 10 data set to generate new images based on diffusion model this video has a lots of hands-on information which you could try in Google Colab. So, this whole diffusion models tutorial is divided into two different parts. In the part one, which is this video, we are covering four different topics. First, the theory behind diffusion models. Second, we will learn that how diffusion model works just through theory and in the third topic we will learn why it is important for us to learn about diffusion models and how they really help us to achieve text to image ai research and finally we will look at the github for various diffusion model implementations related to images as well as for the videos and that is what we are going to cover in this part one video related to diffusion models. The part two video which will be available separately will have two main topic because that video is all about hands on diffusion model. We are using the code in the Google Colab environment. So the first we will look a particular implementation related to probabilistic diffusion model and learn how diffusion work to recover the source image after denoising its property through an AI model and we are also going to use some of the pre-built models which are already being generated using the CFIR or COCO labeled data set and learn how the model can be used to learn the new image generation through the diffusion models. So let's start our part one tutorial related to diffusion models. The idea behind diffusion models comes from the gas molecule thermodynamics where the molecules diffuse from high concentration or the high density regions to the low concentration or the density reasons. This movement or the diffusion is referred as the increase of entropy or the heat death. Looking at the diffusion with the information processing such as image, the diffusion happens and the information is totally lost and the loss of information is actually due to the gradual intervention of the noise. The information diffusion is considered in two separate steps. 
first one is the forward diffusion where the information is processed with the gradual increase of the noise and as the noise increases the information loss and at last the only thing left is the complete noise and this process is considered as the forward diffusion opposite to it is the reverse diffusion where the noise or the complete noise is taken as the source and applying different or various machine learning models to denoise the information and slowly slowly the objective here is to retrieve the original information back so the machine learning model has to understand the process of noising as well as the denoising both in order to bring the information back from the source while generating images by using the diffusion models the process is quite similar however the forward diffusion process means the taking a source image data sets it could be ms coco or it could be cifar 10 and various other labeled image data sets and adding gradual noise to the system and finally converting the full data set to the noise and in the reverse diffusion process doing exact same thing by using machine learning model denoising the individual data and finally generating the images and at this point the image could be retrieved back to the original or the new images can be generated it's all depend on the machine learning model is used to perform what kind of denoising diffusion processes in work coming back to denoising diffusion models the concept in machine learning uses the probabilistic methods such as markov chains we have seen the diffusion process is divided into two steps forward and the reverse diffusion where the reverse diffusion can also be considered as the reconstruction in the forward diffusion process the gaussian noise is being added successively until the original data or the source becomes the complete noise the reverse diffusion process or the reconstruction of the information denoise the data by learning the conditional probability densities through a combination of neural network models to reconstruct the original information from the noise to original source data so now the question comes why do you care why it is important for you to understand the diffusion models and reason you need to give necessary attention to diffusion model because recently diffusion models have seen wide success in the image generation comparative to auto regressive models or the GANs or the VQ VAE transformer based models DALI 2 text to image generation model uses diffusion prior to clip latents and cascade diffusion models to generate high resolution 1024 by 1024 images similar to DALI the Google imaging model is also based on cascaded diffusion models to generate images from the text as explained in this Google research paper titled Cas Cascaded Diffusion Models for High Fidelity Image Generation. Not only DALI 2 and Google Amazon, the very popular OpenAI Glide AI text to image generation model also uses cascaded diffusion models for text to image generation so as you can see the understanding the architecture and the implementation of diffusion models to generate images from the text 
is very important. And at last, this research paper from June 2021 proved the point that the diffusion models beat GANs on image synthesis. It means that diffusion models, while they are better than GAN model, but they also have significant edge over the other text to image or just image generation models from similar methodologies such as autoregression models, GANs or the VQVAE based image generation models. Diffusion methods are not limited to images only. You can also apply the diffusion methodology to videos as well and the new videos can be generated based on the training videos as shown in this given fireworks example. So the based on the information which I have just shared with you, you can say that yes, it is important for anyone who has interest in text to image AI research, the introduction and the understanding of diffusion model becomes paramount for their work and to learn the work done by other AI researchers. The original research paper on denoising diffusion probabilistic models to generate image as displayed in front of you also had its GitHub implementation. This implementation was done in the TensorFlow. However, if your interest is to use the implementation in PyTorch Lightning, then you can use this particular GitHub implementation and even if your interest is to use the same denoising diffusion model with the JAX implementation, then you can actually follow this particular diffusion model implementation. So between these three, you have TensorFlow, you have PyTorch and you have JAX based implementation to the diffusion models. There is another GitHub repo which I found very useful for someone to try and learn more about di diffusion models. This particular GitHub repo actually implements the denoising diffusion model, however, has a little twist on it and it implements the denoising diffusion implicit model or the DDIM, which is still based on denoising diffusion probabilistic model. However, it has a little tweak which makes the training time improved comparative to the previous one. And at last, I would like to share the video diffusion models where you can apply the diffusion model techniques on the video and you can generate the brand new videos such as, sh as shown in front of you through your source input videos. At the very last, you can also visit to this awesome diffusion model GitHub repo to follow various resources and the papers on diffusion models and the score matching methods. The various resources which we have covered in this video is available in the DeepWorks repo at my program account visiting to diffusion models, theory implementations and the models. Everything what I have covered in this video is available here for you to review. So that's all I had for you in this video specific to diffusion models. If you have enjoyed the content, please like it, share it and it's great if you please subscribe the channel as well. Thank you so much for your time and I'm looking forward to seeing you in my next video. Until then, thank you so much.